Hello beekeepers, Victor here from Hive IQ. So this is the start of a series of videos that I'm creating or we're creating uh, to demonstrate the Hive IQ beekeeping management software. Uh, and it's a series of software of, of, of videos simply because there's a lot going on here. So in this soft, this is enterprise software. It's, it's built uh, to enterprise grade standards. So it has high, high availability, high security, multi-tenancy, uh, has all of the concepts of security built in like managing groups and security levels and, and be able to assign and invite people into your organization and, and be able to manage all that security. So all, all of that's covered off in, in this software. So this is not something that ha happened overnight. We've been developing it for about four, four years uh, aggressively and testing. We've been running our commercial beekeeping. So we have a separate business, Dave and I, which we run 1500 hives. That's been a great test bed for, for the software and to get to where we are now. Uh, but we all. But in the last six months, we've we've been in, we've been in beta release. We really haven't, I guess, promoted this uh, heavily. But the beta users that have come on board, and there there is a lot of them, uh, have been providing awesome feedback, and and we've been able to implement that feedback. And uh, I think in all occasions, we've been able to solve problems and, and, and fix bugs and and add functionality that beekeepers want. So, like I said, it's currently in beta. Still in beta. Will be until about the end of this year, 2023. Um, to get to the software, you just need to open a browser, browse to us.app.hiveiq.com. Now, there is a link on our hiveiq.com website and also our hiveiq.com.au website in Australia. US obviously determines the, the server, so that's the US server, but if you can use the AU server if you're in Australia, which is au.app.hiveiq.com. Now, create an account, and I'm, I'm going to be using the US server because I'm currently traveling in the US. I'm recording in a hotel room here in Kansas City. And uh, so to, to demo the software, I've, I'm going to create a demo account called Joey. And Joey's a fictitious account, but I'm going to set him up as a small commercial beekeeper for you. And I'll have some other accounts. I've got a Susie too that I'm going to set up, and Susie and Joe are going to work together. And I'm going to show you how the software uh, you can use it to share across multiple organizations and invite people to come and join your, your team and, and you can task them up with tasks and, and so on. So let's jump in and create an account for Joey by clicking this Create a Hive IQ account. Um, I'm going to cheat because I have deleted his account a couple of times. I've done a few trial run-throughs. This doesn't come super naturally for me, but let's see what I can do with it. And let's just pop in. Make sure you do select, take the, the effort to select the correct country, and this will become very important when we uh, start to uh, pin our bee sites with using maps. So location, like beekeeping is all about location. So let's uh, register, and of course, we're very happy that Joey signed up. So now we're, let's log in as Joey. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can click here in the top left, click log in, or we can click the log in button up here and then log in. And then what we'll do is now is we'll land on the landing page uh, for our organization. So Joey's a brand new user. He's got no data whatsoever. And that's showing here in this, this dashboard. We'll come back to this dashboard. This dashboard's evolving rapidly. So this is gonna be, you know, we're gonna add more, more and more rich content to help beekeepers you know, get a snapshot view of the state of their, their apiaries by adding, you know, more of these um, UX cards. So the first thing I want to do is just quickly explain the hierarchy of the software. The software is built around beekeeping and the logic of beekeeping. And this is really important because we discovered because beekeeping, in all the feedback we received, very few beekeepers do exactly the same, do things exactly the same way. So whether they're recleaning, harvesting, making splits, disease management, moving bees, they, they all do it their own way. And there's similarities, but there's a lot of differences. So we've had to make the software super flexible. And uh, the first rule of that is just getting the hierarchy correct. So at the entry level or the ground level, the ground floor of beekeeping, I call it, is sites. And this is where, uh, because without a site, and I, I would call this your territory in actual fact, it's uh, the, your floral territory. So without sites, you, you can't be a beekeeper. Um, you've got, you know, you don't have anywhere to put your hives. So the first thing is, setting up all your sites in here. I'll do a video on that shortly. Then once you've got our sites, we can then set up an apiary. And an apiary by definition is a collection of hives that we manage uh, as a group. Now, even if you're a hobbyist, I, I um, encourage you to 
use this hierarchy because you might be starting with one hive but I guarantee you 99% of beekeepers will end up with two hives and therefore they now have an apiary so you may as well go ahead create the apiary now and also it's going to play in nicely with the rich functionality that we've built into the software. The hive levels where you can drill down and start to manage your hives at an individual level. The flora library that you see here is our entry level introductory flora library. It's just a fairly basic library but we've got a much more comprehensive flora library uh, in development and we'll publish that uh, in the coming weeks. Management, uh, it just puts you in the driver's seat of your software. So here you can manage your organizations, uh, you can manage your contacts, and your contacts could be lots of different things. It could be the property owners that you've got permission to use their sites, and uh, it could be government uh, offices, etc. Your team, uh, I'll go back here. Your team is where you manage your team. Um, event logs is where events will, will pop up here. Just keep in mind that beta, a lot of this stuff is rapidly evolving, so it will change quite rapidly. Here's where you will set your targets, and this will become really important when the reporting and alerting module is launched into beta or into the production system. And so that'll the, the will start to, the reporting will allow you to start to report against your, your targets, your progress against targets, and all those fun things. Uh, cool things and then in setup we've got preferences where you can uh, choose some of your preferences we've put some cool functionality in here which we'll, we're going to grow out over time but we discovered that in, in uh, different regions people beekeepers like to use different terminology for example bee yards instead of apiaries so as you can see you can change it and this just flows right through the whole software suite so you're not stuck with terminology that doesn't work for you Again, as a beta user, we encourage you to tell us what you want here. We'll build it. Um, you can change your uh, units of measure and so forth. Uh, then finally, you can see who's logged in. You can go and update your account. You can log in and out here. Uh, with management, I wanted to point out here that, like I said, I think it's a multi-tenancy. Multi-tenancy is really important for beekeeping uh, because often beekeepers are involved with not just their own beekeeping practice, but their friends or other commercial beekeepers. For example, my uh, operations manager uh, that manages our, our, our apiaries, uh, he's, he's a young guy, he's also got his own hives, so he's got his own business. So he, when he logs in here, he's gonna be able to switch between his organization and my organization, depending on what work he's doing. So that multi-tenancy thing's really cool. So that's a quick overview of the menu. Uh, let's get into setting the software up for, for Joey. Um, We'll start with management and the setup. So let's get into that next. Mm -hmm.